Hi, this is Ben. Today I'm going to show you how to install a shower niche. Every client is asking nowadays for a niche to put your shampoo bottle, soap, toothbrushes, you name it. There we go. This is a shower niche. Okay, so here we are going to frame for a shampoo niche. So we already have the size. We have a rough opening size. Rough opening size is a framing size because we have to have tile inside it so it will make the size of the opening smaller after this. Our rough opening size is 18 inches wide, 19 inches high. Center on the tub. So we are going to determine where the center is of the tub. And from here, we are going to go 18 inches wide, so nine inches from the center on each side, 19 inches total on the right. So I'm going to measure the center of the tub. From one edge to the tub to the other edge. Our tub is 32 and three quarters. Center of 32 and three quarters is uh, 16 and three is the center. So we go here, you mark on the tub, 16 and three eighths. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this stud right here, because this stud is right in the middle of our niche. So we want our niche to start at 52 inches, right? And we said it's going to be 19 inches high. So that's going to be our, the bottom plate of our shower niche. Goes from here, we cut this here, and we leave that guy right here. We leave it. Take a square. We are going to cut this plate here, add a 2x4 flat. So 2x4 is an inch and a half. So measure inch and a half. And then our height is 19 inches plus 19, which is right here. Join nice and level. 19 inches. That's where we cut our plate. And here we are going to cut our plate as plumb and level as possible. Okay. 19 inches is the height. We had to add two 2x4 two to that. Each 2x4 is an inch and a half. So always double check your measurement. Always. That's nice and square, and here too. Okay, so now we have our height. Here, there is no packing for the drywall, so we need to add a two by four. It's flexing, it's not right. So we are going to add a piece of two by four flat here. So here we are going to have a drywall inspection. So when you put your screws in, you have to make sure you don't sink them too much. Try to have a nice pattern. So here now I'm going to cut my uh, my bottom and my top of my niche. I have 27 and 516 on the bottom and uh, 27 and a quarter on top. We have to go cut those right now. 27 and 516. Because I'm a little bit uh, long, so it's tight. There you go, that's perfectly level right there. Now that we checked the bottom of our niche is perfectly level, we can nail it down. Always, always double check, triple check, all the time, all the time. Even though it's going to get flooded. There you go, that's good. Now the top, top of our niche, same thing. There you go, we are good right here. Nail it. Double check. Perfectly level. Good. Now we can do that side. Here I'm going to add support. I'm going to have support here. Make sure I'm good. And we are done. Remember our mark? We mark the center of the tub right here. Now we have to put this mark on the center of the niche so we know exactly where to end it. So line one end of the level. You can also do that with a laser. There you go. That's the center of our niche. We know that our niche is going to be 18 inches wide. So we need to go nine inches on each side of that line for our rough framing. Nine inches this way and nine inches this way. Okay, so we are going to measure, cut two two by four. 
We have 18 and 7 eighths on this side, and we have 18 and 7 eighths on this side. It should be equal because everything is level. A trick you can use to make sure you always cut straight. Set your square and set the guide of your saw next to the square. Cut. This way you know you're perfect. So now we are going to mark our nine inch locations. What I like to do is I like to mark it on the stud and make an arrow. So I know this is where my stud goes. Same on that side. Arrow. You can take your square, square it to the back wall. Here, yeah, that's where our stud goes. Level on it. Make sure you're perfect. That side of the line, same thing. This one is a bit tighter. Okay, okay. Perfect. Okay. Now we double check our measurement. 18 inches wide. 18 inches wide. 19 high. 19 high. Perfect. Now I'm going to add another support right here. One here, one here. 32, 18 and 7 eight. Here you go, that's it. Done, done, done. It's not going anywhere. One more double checking. This is the center of our tub. So you want to make sure you're the same distance. Nine inches, nine inches, nine inches, nine inches. You pass the test. 